Are you one of those people who thought if you put a plug on the jug, announce to the world that you're an alcoholic and your life is crumbled and it's because of booze, and thinking if you went to a 12-step program or maybe even considered going to rehab, that your life would become instantaneously better. You would feel better, you'd be happier, things would just be grand for you because you quit drinking, but it didn't come out like that. You're a nervous wreck, you're emotional, you felt a lot of guilt, a lot of shame, a lot of anger, a lot of hurt, just like me in early recovery. If you felt like that or are you feeling like that, you're not alone. And there is a reason why we are so emotional when we first sober up. It, there's a huge reason and everybody's different to the level of suffering in early recovery. Everybody is different. Me, I was extreme. I had a lot of issues to deal with and I was extremely emotional when I sobered up. But one of the main reasons I, th I feel in my recovery, why I was so much like that, before I started drinking, I had a lot of childhood trauma, a lot of issues going on in my life. I started drinking when I was 13. And self-consciously or not knowing, I used alcohol to deal with my problems. At the time, I didn't know that. In retrospect, I know that now. But at that time, I didn't know that. I thought it was just normal. You know, if a childhood issue came up and I was thinking badly about myself or a problem that I had at, at school or whatever, I would just take a drink and that drink would soothe me and I would relax. And I thought that that's how people deal with their problems. It's sort of a forget thing, right? We just forget about it. And so when I drank, the problem would go away. Alcohol eliminate those problems for me. I stopped thinking about it. I stopped feeling it and it just sort of went away. And that behavior continued for about another 10 to 15 years. You know, I'd go to funerals. I wouldn't grieve. I would just have a drink and deal with it with the booze and the drugs and never really dealt with anything. Uh, breakups, girlfriends that left me that I felt crushed about. I would just smoke a joint and drink, bury it. So I had layers and layers and layers of emotional situations in my past that I never dealt with at all. But alcohol does that to us, right? Under the addiction of alcohol, it gives us the illusion that we are dealing with situations. We are dealing with life on life terms. It gives us that, it gives us that illusion because I never thought it was true. I honestly believed that my life was okay when I drank. I believed that. I had everything under control. My emotions were not out of whack. I used alcohol to settle me down and, and sort of control the way I felt and the way I thought. But I didn't know that only until I got into recovery. That's when I started to learn about addiction. And what I'm, what I'm talking about is basically addiction 101, right? So what happens is when we stop drinking, guess what? Those emotions and unresolved issues and traumas and hurts and pains and shame and guilt and anger and all that kind of stuff comes up. It's like an emotional tidal wave. And guess what? We get it tenfold, or I got it tenfold anyways, when it happened. And that's one of the main reasons why alcoholics are so emotional in early sobriety. A, everything is raw. We have no medicine to cope with our lives anymore. B, we've never dealt with anything in our lives up to then. Well, in the drinking career, most of us have never dealt with anything head on. When people die or there's an issue, most people talk about it or grieve it. An alcoholic drinks it away and stuffs it down. When people did bad things to me or I did bad things to other people, who, you know, I felt guilt or shame, I just drank it away and I stuffed it down. But in a sober life, we can't do that. We have to deal with our guilt, we have to deal with our shame, deal with our pain, and deal with our anger. Because we don't have the miracle elixir. We don't have alcohol to take. And it is very difficult. It's like emotional rawness. Like we are bare when it comes to our emotions. And one of the reasons is, is because what I just described, what I just described. So, so what did I do to help me? Well, first of all, I had to understand that I wasn't the only one in that situation. A lot of people in early recovery, 
or even like two or three years out, like on their journey, still have emotional difficulties, you know, emotional intelligence, you know, they have emotional problems, they're still all over the place. And a lot of that is just them working on their emotional balance. So first of all, I had to realize that I'm not the only one in this boat. There's a lot of people, a lot of alcoholics who have emotional issues, especially in early recovery. But over time, it does go away. The second thing I had to realize that I had to take care of myself, you know, self-love, look after myself, go easy on myself. You know, 15 years of alcoholism, 15 years of walking in the bush, walking in the forest, it takes at least another five or six years to get out, to find your way out if you're lost, even maybe longer. So I had to go easy on myself and just take it one day at a time and understand I'm going to get through this and I'm going to work on it and I'm going to deal with these unresolved issues and, un and deal with my emotional difficulties. The third, the third thing I did was I went to therapy. 12-step programs are good. They're great. They kept me sober. They've never let me down. But going into therapy really helped me go back many years and talk about those unresolved issues, those big unresolved issues and get over it and grieve it and understand it. So that, that is a giant one that really helped me. Another one is, is journaling. Talking to myself about the way I feel about things. Understanding myself by journaling one day at a time. And I look forward to journaling now. I really do. I've never talked about journaling very much in any of my videos, but I really like journaling now. I look forward to it forward to doing it because it's a great way of expressing yourself in private and understanding yourself and you begin to see the the um, the patterns in your emotions you start to understand yourself a lot better another one it takes time it really does it takes a lot of time you have to give yourself some time go easy on yourself and just take it one day at a time just one day at a time. And the last one is stay sober. Join a 12-step group if you can. Get a support network going on. Don't drink. If you drink or drug again, you will go back. You will revert back. If we stay sober and take it one day at a time, we can work on those issues. And over time, they simply disappear or they don't have the impact that they used to have on us. But that's basically the reason we're like that. We've never dealt with anything. We've never. Alcoholics don't deal with stuff. We don't. We think we do, but we don't. And well, what happens eventually, we have to deal with it when we sober up or we'll never sober up and be content with ourselves or accept ourselves for exactly who we are. But over time, you will. And over time in my sobriety, I've learned to deal with my emotions one day at a time. I don't hang on to them as much as I used to. I accept myself for totally who I am, good, the bad, the ugly. But I really had to deal with a lot of heavy stuff and get honest with myself and tell somebody what the heck was going on with me. Because it wasn't a pleasant sight. It really wasn't a pleasant sight. So if you're like that, if you feel, you know, sort of out of whack and you're saying to yourself, there's no way this is sobriety. This sobriety feels lousy. It's too painful. You're on the right journey. You're on the right journey. Recovery for a lot of us. Some people get it really quick, really easy. Some of us, like me, it takes time and we have to be very patient with ourselves, okay? So deal with your past, deal with your emotions, get honest, get a sponsor, do everything you can to help yourself and you will have a big full life at the end of it. Guarantee it, I guarantee it. Cause I do, I'm emotionally balanced now. I don't freak out, I don't feel as guilty as I used to. I don't feel as angry, I don't feel as hurt. All those sort of things. And when I do, I know how to deal with it. So I don't get myself in that trap. But it took a lot of years and a lot of time and a lot of growing up. It really did. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a comment below. If you didn't, leave a comment below. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. You know, I'm trying to build awareness about recovery. I'm trying to do that because your life can be great, can be great 
one day at a time without the use and abuse of alcohol. It really, really can. Okay, I'm checking out. It's springtime up at the off the grid cottage. It's a beautiful day. And I just thought I'd do a quick video and let everybody know, hey, you're not alone, okay? Just remember, there's no I in team. And stay sober, stay safe, and sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. Ciao for now. I'm Terry G. Please subscribe and please hit that like button. Bye-bye.